Hello and welcome to another lesson of the TI-30 XP student course. In this lesson today, we're going to be looking at doing some statistical analysis on a set of data. Now, if you haven't listened uh, to the lesson before this, which is using the random integer command, we are going to be using that in the lesson today. So it might be um, a good update to go back and listen to that video first. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is generate the set of data that we're going to use. Now, we're going to imagine that we're analysing the ages of 10 people aged between 1 and 100. So, like I said, I'm going to use my random integer command to help me generate uh, the ages of the people that we're going to be looking at today. All right, so the first thing is we want to um, enter our data into a list. So we're going to go uh, hit the data button. Um, and into our list one, we're going to enter the ages of our 10 people. Um, so again, using the random integer command, we go probability. Uh, we use the arrow to go across to random. We're looking at a random integer. And our people, like I said, are aged between 1 uh, and 100. So 1, 100. Close the bracket. And there's my first person there. Um, I'm just going to do one more person um, and then I'm going to enter um, the rest of these just by myself. So you can hopefully be following along with your calculator and doing the same thing. Okay, so there's my second person, age 43. Okay, I'm just going to enter the remaining eight people um, and then we'll check back in to do the analysis. Okay, so here are my ten people. You can see if I uh, scroll down in my list... We go all the way down to list one, spot 10. So there's my 10 people there. Okay, so now I want to do the analysis on this data. So the main thing I'm going to be looking at today is finding uh, the mean, the median, and the range of my data. So now I'm just going to quit out of my list. So second and mode to quit. Um, and then I'm going to go into my stat menu. So second, and the data button will bring up the statistical analysis uh, functions. Okay, so I want my one variable statistics. Um, if you are interested in two variable statistics, it's just there underneath. Okay, so one variable statistics. Um, now, my data was entered into list one, so I want to have that list one highlighted. Um, again, if it wasn't list two, I would just use the arrows to go across, and then I could highlight list two, but it's not. It's in list one, so I want that on there. Um, and there's only one frequency um, for each age, so um, I, but I could have a frequency list as well if I wanted to. Okay, I'm then going to do my calculation, and this is going to bring up all of my one variable statistics. So here I can see in that first plot, that's telling me n equals 10. So there are 10 people or 10 pieces of data in my list. Uh, number two, x bar, that's my mean. So my mean age was 47.4. My sx and my sigma x are there to do with the standard deviation. So if that's something you're not familiar with, it's highly unlikely that you'll be looking at that. Um, at a year 7 or year 8 level, but if you're in a higher year level, that may be important to you. Uh, the sum of my x values, so all of my ages added together, comes up to 474 uh, for all of those 10 people. Um, and then down here, when we get to 7, 8, 9, and then a and b, these are the next bits of the number summary that um, are fairly important. So my minimum age there is 24. Uh, my Q1, um, again, that might be familiar for you if you're in more of a year 9, year 10 uh, level. Um, that's 42. My median, really important, um, 43.5. My Q3 is 60, and my maximum age was 69. Uh, now, I do want to find the range of my data. So that's the difference between the maximum and the minimum. Um, I could do this just by remembering, oh, okay, my maximum was 69, and the minimum was 24. So subtracting those, um, or the other thing I could do is I can actually um, press enter on, uh, say, the maximum here, um, and that's going to bring that up in my main screen. Then I could go minus, go back into that stats analysis, um, and then in here, if I go down to stat vars, um, you'll notice that wasn't there before because we hadn't done the statistical calculation, but now we've done the calculation. All of that's stored under my statistical variables. Okay, so I can go into there. That brings it up again from the last calculation that we did. And now I can minus my minimum. So my maximum minus my minimum, which is the range. Press enter. And you can see there the range is 45. Um, I could also just bring up, if I wanted to, say, uh, the mean 
and let's go the median as well just because they're usually the ones that we're interested in at the level we're talking about okay so if I go down and get to the median there we go and that would be really useful for um, a test question or a textbook question or anything I was trying to answer where they were asking me for the range the mean and the median okay hopefully this has been helpful and I'll see you next time thanks bye